We all love our canine companions and their mental health is extremely important to us. So, one thing you need to ask yourself before getting a dog of any sort is how often will I be leaving my dog alone? Not all breeds do well by themselves, some need a lot of attention throughout the day or they'll become stressed. This sort of stress from being alone is known as separation anxiety and can lead to unwanted and often destructive behaviours. Today we'll be taking a look at the marvellous Ridgeback. These dogs were made to protect and be a part of the family unit. But the question on our minds today is do Ridgebacks get separation anxiety? Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback channel. My name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Ridgebacks, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Ridgebacks. So if you're a lifelong Ridgeback lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Ridgeback, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Ridgeback video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see if Ridgebacks do in fact get separation anxiety. To understand if a dog is prone to getting separation anxiety or not, we need to first understand separation anxiety itself. Separation anxiety is a clinical disorder that needs to be diagnosed by a veterinary behaviourist. It is very different from a dog who gets upset when you leave them for the day and then relaxes. Separation anxiety causes canines to participate in destructive behaviours and behaviours that have the potential to cause harm to the dog. Dogs with separation anxiety may paw at the door until they bleed or knock things down onto themselves in a panic. They may also howl, drool or sweat excessively. Housebroken dogs may even urinate or defecate while in the house. While we aren't entirely certain what causes a dog to be more or less prone to separation anxiety, we know some things that can make it worse or cause a canine to start experiencing it. A dog may develop separation anxiety after things like being returned to the shelter, a large shift in routine, a death in the family, or experiencing something frightening while at home alone at a young age. Many believe it is also partially caused by genetic predisposition. Now, let's take a look at the Ridgebacks. These dogs were originally bred to hunt big game in South Africa, but before that their ancestors were native dogs. The native Hottentot Ridge Dog was bred to protect native families and their fa villages from lions. They were a very important part of the community and it wasn't until the German and Dutch took a liking to these dogs that they really took off in the sport of game hunting. So first and foremost, these dogs were bred to be a part of the community and to have strong ties with their leaders. Being a working dog also means that they have a lot of energy and will need proper outlets for it, both physical and mental. So yes, Ridgebacks are prone to separation anxiety, more so than some other breeds. Due to their high energy levels and need to be around their family, they can become quite anxious easily when everyone is away for long periods of time. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable, helpful content of me working with dogs and providing as much information and helpful, valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you are interested, I can't wait to see you over on TikTok, but in the meantime, I'll let you get back to the video you were watching. Though it's important to be able to identify the difference between a bored Ridgeback and an anxious Ridgeback. These signs can be quite similar in some cases and can be confusing to differentiate between. A bored Ridgeback may dig, chew, or otherwise become destructive once left alone for too long. This is because Ridgebacks were bred to always be on task and boredom can and will take over if they're left without it for too long. Ridgebacks are also known to have a low boredom threshold. A Ridgeback suffering from boredom may tear up the sofa or destroy shoes to give themselves a task. A Ridgeback suffering from separation anxiety will not be focused enough to perform a linear and deliberate task. They'll panic as soon as they're alone which can lead to damage in the house and injury to the dog. The damage can also look very similar but isn't the same. The Ridgeback who's bored may choose one area to dig in or a certain type of item to destroy such as shoes or a mattress. The one suffering from separation anxiety may claw at the front door until they're bleeding or knock over furniture while pacing or running anxiously. Thankfully there are ways to help our beloved canines overcome such a horrible fear of being home alone. As always it's best to start training as early as possible. The earlier training starts the more successful it will be. It's important to start with short absences when teaching a dog that it's okay to be alone. As long as they don't become distressed, you can increase the amount of time you're away. 
This will help your puppy acclimatise to being alone in a non-scary fashion and they know that you will come back even if it takes some time. Regular exercise and training is also important to helping curb separation anxiety. A dog that's worn out won't have as much energy to go running about and getting into things accidentally or otherwise. If you know you're going to be away for a period of time your dog isn't comfortable with, it's a good idea to check out a reputable daycare, pet sitter or walker to take care of them while you're away. And always, always check with your vet if you're worried about your dog's well-being. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget that if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Ridgeback videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Ridgeback Show.